Hi and welcome to our 33rd episode and my name is Sufyan Yusayed and I'm in conversation with the Dean and Director of Six Cricket Academy, Mr. Karthik Jashwan. Welcome, sir. Thank you. We've received questions from parents. How can we make preparation enjoyable and sustainable for my child so it becomes a positive habit than a chore? Yeah, this is a question which uh, most uh, parents, I would rather say the parents than the kids than in, the, in themselves. Kids, they do enjoy. It is uh, to an extent, you know, I'm not just trying to talk about this parent in uh, particular, but uh, usually the parents start putting pressure they, because of the expectations, because cricket or most sport come with selections, non-selection. So all these things start working more on the parent because the parent starts losing uh, patience. Then they start uh, equating that to whether my son's uh, it is, is a son or daughter is he or she succeeding or not. They look at selections and you know take a call. So it starts became becoming a kind of a day-to-day -day activity. Do I need to do it? Do I have to? But but the problem is, see, uh, you got to understand why did you start playing this sport? It is for fun. It is for so many other good things which which a selection does not speak. It is about, uh, you know, there are so many, uh, uh, you know, inbuilt things in which the sport teaches, which the parent or the athlete probably recognizes that, you know, he or she is happy, yes, she is moving around, making friends, you know, talking, talking well, talking confidently, being able to mix with people, you know, uh, the respect the people who they de who deserve, you know, all these things the athlete is, uh, you know, uh, feeling happy about. But the parent as such is probably only looking at selection, which they are putting it, uh, uh, you know, on the child. You are selected, not selected. So you are successful, not successful. They e equate selection to success or non-success. See, uh, keeping the end goal in mind and starting, this is what can happen. You just play for the day, you just play to enjoy, up your skill, selections will certainly follow, rather than you chase selections. It's like, you know, uh, when we start something, there's no point looking at the results and, you know, looking at the end goal and starting. So, I think that is where is the problem. So, if you just look at the day-to-day -day activity, on a day-to-day -day basis, did you learn anything? I mean, when I say learn, it is not just particularly the sport as such, the all-round things which I just spoke, the holistic development, whether the child is having. If that is a tick box, I think it's a good day. And as you have more and more days like this, I'm sure selections will follow. Thank you, sir. So, moving on to the second question is, some of us players have moved on from the age group cricket and now playing in the men's league. What advice would you give them? Yeah, yeah, thanks. It's a big transition period for them. Yes, it's a transition which every uh, athlete wants to see it. But not everybody will see it because finally, uh, you know, your performance takes over. And few of them, uh, of course, they do graduate or progress into, you know, uh, age group to men's cricket. And there is a big gap. There's a big step to climb. And which most athletes, uh, I'm sure, will climb. And even the, uh, even the athletes who have played this year representing the Karnataka Premier League from the Sixth Cricket Academy, uh, they've had a fairly okay kind of a performance and I'm sure that they will be match winners in the coming year because that's a great experience. See, uh, you've always been playing uh, age group cricket where, you know, there is a cap. If you're 16, you know, you have to play only with 16s or below that or a 19. Here it is not like that. From a 16 to a 40 will be playing. So, each of them will come with different strengths and you are a 18, 19 year old guy who's seen it some seen something new where some very experienced play, players are rubbing shoulders with you so at that time you know there's a lot of learning and a good cricketer will succeed my advice to not just the six cricketers but cricketers who are progressing at at, at every walk of life or every uh, every country or every state this progression of you know from age group cricket to senior level cricket everybody has to take that path. There is no way about it. Now, how do you sustain there? How do you uh, belong, uh, belong there? And how do you come successful there? That's a, the, 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 that is the issue which not everybody will, but most, most uh, will. But my advice to all of them is, believe in why have you reached that level? On what basis have you reached that level? You have certain strengths. There are certain weaknesses which you are still working. So, 
it is because of the strength you your performance bettered and because of your performance people have selected yeah. you so trust that you suddenly cannot be just because you are playing with a very senior player you cannot be at par with him or try to match his levels your levels probably in, in a year or two maybe way beyond th that player but what is important for you currently is to uh, believe in why have you reached that and continue that continue that believe believe in your strengths and continue that don't try to be overboard which i see many youngsters you know suddenly realizing that it's a different level of cricket i need to do something extraordinary nothing you have to just need to do your basics like what you have done all these years it's like john wooden saying a champion does the basics when it is most required that's all so stick to the basics so if you are trying to do something different which you are not i don't think it's a good way to and also go forward it, also yeah. it is good for the boys to you know share dressing rooms with guys like mayank agarwal yes uh, karun nair karun nair yeah. they learn so much this because they they've done a lot for kannadaka cricket yes yes and and of course in the ipl and for indian cricket you know there's a lot of learning from that for certainly at a competitive environment so these are all the learnings and how do you take it forward that's why i'm telling you some of our boys who have played next year will be match winners at, at that tournament and they need to have patience even though they have not done great things this year like what they are used to being doing in the age, age group, group cricket though it's a men, men's game and i'm sure that uh, uh, foothold which they've got now from this year's experience they'll be different level of cricketers in the coming years thank you sir so moving on to third question how can i create more vivid and realistic mental image of my performance during visualizing exercise see visualization is a very important part of uh, it's a very very long uh, subject uh, uh, sufi which i wouldn't like to get deep into it but visualization and imagery are two things which are uh, uh, extremely important for an athlete you know visualization is a few things which you have to keep in mind i'll, I'll touch upon it very briefly is uh, visualize something positive that is the main thing if uh, if an athlete especially who is out of form or going down will always the mind forces you to say that if i do this mistake what is going to happen what is the outcome so that is one thing you know as an athlete or or the coach who is trying to guide the athlete should see to it that you know allow your athletes to uh, think something positive you know uh, what is visualization you are seeing yourself what you want to do prior to the event so when you are seeing that you are this is mainly visual which is through your eyes you know vision is what uh, you are seeing yourself doing the good things so similarly and 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 it's a very you know uh, freely used word you know visualize but it is not that easy it takes an it takes effort it takes practice to get into that visualization whether you want to see yourself that is the first person or you want to see the third person who is someone else doing and you want to copy there's a lot lot of depth in it so then then when you're good at visualization then comes the imagery so other senses like the feel like the wind blowing across you or when, or when there is a scoreboard pressure when there is lot of noise around you lot of uh, sledging uh, against you the feel of hitting the ball or feel of releasing the ball so you start feeling you you involve more senses so but at the grassroots levels which we are coaching at the academy level i think visualization is a very good uh, tool for the athlete and you know mainly this develops confidence you know where where does a player lose confidence is thinking that you know uh, i may do this wrong i may do that wrong so with visualization you always think the right thing always see the successful thing. things that is the main thing about visualization it is it is about seeing tomorrow it's not about seeing yesterday yeah. okay if you have some great performances under your belt okay you can replay that there's nothing wrong but but generally you know this uh, that's why i'm telling you it should become a part of your repertoire in your in a, in a daily uh, as a player yeah, yeah in a, in an everyday match you should make it a habit instead you know i start uh, you know depending on these things when i'm failing that's not a good thing make it a habit it's a very good habit visualization mainly because when you visualize you take away the pressures because this game is all <laughs> all about pressure handling pressure so when when you are sure as to what you want to do the other things you are blinded to you're not you need not know because it is just that one ball which you're bowling or batting which is important so you got to focus on that ball and visualization is a great tool for that thank you sir it's a great message to all the athletes not only in cricket but many sports 
you know, look back to your good performances and then you can take it forward. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, sir. And also to our parents, do like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we are back on the first of every month. Thank you.